Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at a few ways of making our Python Turtle programs more efficient. So in previous videos we've had some code to draw a square which looks a little bit like this. And we move the turtle forward by a certain amount, we turn right by 90 degrees, and then we repeat that process three more times to draw a square. And as a general rule in programming, we shouldn't really be copying and pasting our own code. So any time that we are repeating the same lines over and over, we should look at a more efficient way of doing that. So in this case I want to take the first two lines, the turtle.forward and the turtle.right, and repeat those four times. So to do that I use a for loop and I type the line of code for i in range brackets for, and I end that line with a colon. And then a bit like the if statement, I need to indent the lines which I want to be part of the loop. So in this case I want just those first two lines to be part of the loop, so I indent those. And because I'm going to repeat those first two lines, I can now delete the rest of the lines. And if I run that code, you can see that it does indeed draw a square. And of course I can change the number in the range to make it repeat more times or fewer times. So if I change that number, for example, to 40, you can see here it draws my square, and it's just repeating that over and over again and actually drawing the square over the top and over the top and over the top again. So I should have 10 squares over the top of each other. Of course, as always, anywhere that I use a number, I can also use a variable. So I can replace that 40 with a variable if I want to. So I'm going to ask the user how many times they want to repeat. And because I want them to input a number, I need to make sure that I use the int function there. OK, so the number they input is going to be stored in the times variable. And so I replace the 40 with the name of the variable times. We run the code. We get the prompt, how many times should I repeat? I enter two times. And sure enough there we can see two sides of a square. If I run it again and I enter 10, then sure enough it repeats 10 times. And really that is the essential basics of a for loop. We have a range and we indent the lines which we want to be inside the loop, the lines you want to be repeated. There are a few other little bits and pieces you can do though to do some more advanced work. Here on line 8 we have the variable i, for i in range, and what actually happens is that variable starts at 0 and it increases each time our loop goes around until it gets to the limit we specified. So we specified 4, so i is going to go 0, 1, 2, and 3. 0, 1, 2, 3 is 4 times. And we can use that variable just like we'd use any other variable. So just to show that what I said is true, let's print it out each time. So inside the loop, print, this is repetition, comma, i. Run the code. I want to repeat four times. We can see there, sure enough, this repetition is zero, this repetition one, two, and three. So because i is an integer, we can use that anywhere we'd use any other integer, any other number. So I can do some maths even inside that for loop, and I can adjust angles or lengths and similar. And in fact, you will need to do that for some of the tasks which I'm going to leave you with now.